We'll graph our next equation in the rectangular coordinate system, and then we'll state the domain and the range. We have x plus 2 quantity squared plus y minus 1 quantity squared is equal to 9. So this is a circle in standard form. Remember, standard form is x minus h quantity squared plus y minus k quantity squared is equal to r squared. So I'm going to rewrite this original equation just slightly. I'm going to write it instead of x plus 2, I'm going to write it as x minus negative 2 quantity squared plus y minus 1 quantity squared is equal to 9. So we can see that this negative 2 really represents the h or the x-coordinate of the vertex. And the 1 represents the k, or the y-coordinate of the vertex. So in general, when we want to find the center of a circle, we look at it in its standard form. And if we see x plus 2, we take negative 2 for the x-coordinate. If we see y minus 1, we take positive 1 for the y-coordinate. So our center is negative 2, 1. And in this case, r squared is equal to 9, so our radius squared is equal to 9. So our radius, if I take the square root of 9, I get 3. So now I'm ready to plot this circle. My center is at negative 2, 1. And then I'm simply going to go up 3 in the y direction, over 3 to the left in the x direction, down 3 in the y direction, and 3 to the right in the x direction. And I'll draw my circle. Okay, let's look at what these points are that I used. That will help me determine the domain and the range. Now remember, my center here is at negative 2 comma 1. So when I went up 3 units, I really went up to negative 2, 4. And when I went down 3 units, I really went down to negative 2, negative 2. Now, going back to the center of the circle, negative 2, 1, when I went to the right 3 units, I really ended at 1, comma, 1. And when I went to the left 3 units, I ended over here at negative 5, comma, 1. The reason that I'm plotting those ordered pairs is because it will help me determine the domain and the range. The domain are the values that x can take on. And we can see that x can take on values anywhere as far left as an x value of negative 5, including negative 5, so I'll use a bracket, and it can go as far to the right as the value positive 1. So the x values in the interval from negative 5 to 1 represent the domain. The range are the y values, and we can see the lowest y value occurs at a y value of negative 2, and it goes up to a high y value of positive 4. And that's again on a closed interval from negative 2 to positive 4.